10.5 degrees in the greenhouse tonight so I thought I'd do a little tour around the outdoor enclosures and some of the enclosures in the greenhouse. This is the Triturus carnifix or alpine crested newt pond and you can see some larvae there in the pond that have overwintered. They're leucistic larvae. The father's a leucistic and the mother is het for leucistic. And you can just see them hanging out there in the surface of the pond tonight. Some of the ferns have died off and this is in fact the mother. She is normal coloured but she's het for leucistic. So she carries the gene but she has normal coloration. The father is a white male. You can have a wee look at her belly there. Some lovely coloration. Next then we'll have a look in the tiger salamander enclosure. And here's one of the six tiger salamanders which live in here. These are the barred tiger salamander, Ambistoma mavortium. Next then we'll have a little look in the white cloud minnow pond. These guys live in the greenhouse, so they are protected from the worst of the cold. I live very close to the Atlantic Ocean, which means that we don't get very cold winters. So these little minnows can survive outside in the greenhouse over winter. And you can just see one there swimming around. It's difficult to get a shot of these guys at night time. Above them then on the shelf, you can see that the cactuses are now dormant. The Opuntia fragilis actually shrivels up at this time of the year to avoid bursting in the cold if it were to freeze. Some of the exotic plants or subtropical plants are still doing quite well. This is a Colocasia pink china and the leaves are still massive even though we've had minus one. That's a banana in the background and the papyrus are also doing really well and they've actually hit the roof of the greenhouse which is about six or maybe seven feet tall. Um, next is the alpine newt enclosure and even these guys are out and about tonight with the warm weather. This is an adult male showing his beautiful blue coloration and his orange underbelly. They will be taken to the water now soon actually to start breeding once uh, the days start lengthening. Down here then is a male and a female. I'll just give you a better look at those and you can compare the dull coloration of the female and the blue coloration of the male on top. The females are slightly larger than the males also. Put them back in and I'll have a little look around. Most of these uh, amphibians are still hibernating despite the warm weather. But as I say, the warm weather has encouraged some of them to come out of hibernation just for tonight or for however long the cold or the warm weather continues. This is a little baby alpine newt. This little fellow would have been born in the spring of this year. And I'll put him back and I've just spotted another female in the water. There she is. And... Some of these alpine newts will actually hibernate on the bottom of the pond. Uh, just a little quick look at some of the carnivorous plants. All have gone dormant. And you can see that the pitchers are starting to die back at this time of the year. As are the sundews. And the Venus flytraps. Just below is the marbled newt enclosure. And I've just spotted a marbled newt out and about tonight as well. The warm weather is really bringing everything out tonight. That's a little cyclamen. That's a wild cyclamen, unlike the ones that you buy in the garden centre at this time of the year. Beautiful coloration, perfectly camouflaged against the plants in this enclosure. Next then is just a quick look in the axolotl pond and he was having none of that. Uh, this is the fish pond. I, the only fish that live in here are the sticklebacks. They had a very successful year breeding and I've got lots of fry. There's a quick look at one. I just want to show you what's hibernating under this log. Just a very quick look because I don't want to disturb it. 
and it's one of my pool frogs. And believe it or not, this female actually hibernated in the exact same spot last year, but that's a new burrow that she has dug this year. And again, some little wild cyclamens popping up here and there. Next then is my Spanish ribbed newt enclosure. This is a quite a large pond with quite a few adults. These are the leucistic adults and they're all at the surface tonight because of the warm weather. It's a nice big female there. That's a big male. And another nice big female. There are some wild type or normal colored rib newts in here as well, which are a dark brown. They're quite well camouflaged, although I can see them. The camera's not picking them up. We'll have a look in the baby pond. These are last year's babies. You can see that there's an overhang right around this pond, so they can't escape. And I'll just try and grab one. Yes, this is... A normal wild type baby which would have been born in the bigger pond with the adults and then moved to this pond to be raised and here's one of the young leucistics so this is their first winter outside and they're actually doing quite well now that's unusual you can see there that he's puffed out his ribs and that's their defense mechanism they'll actually pierce through their skin with their ribs and they have a little uh, venom that they can inject into the skin of any uh, predators. So that's it for this update guys. Thank you for watching and if you like this video please like and if you would like to see more updates from the garden and the greenhouse please subscribe. Thank you for watching.